Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create your own custom toolbars, select Tools from the menu bar and choose Customize. In the Customize dialog box, click the Toolbars tab. Here, click the New button at right to bring up the new toolbar dialog box that appears. In the toolbar name text box, type in the name for your new toolbar. And then click OK. You should see your new toolbar appear as a little floating toolbar right next to the customized dialog box. Then click the Commands tab and add the desired button functions to the new toolbar. When you're done adding your buttons, you could simply click Close. Now also note that you can click the Toolbars tab to delete any custom toolbars that you've made, or also reset changes to toolbars made accidentally or maliciously. So on the Toolbars tab, if you select your toolbar, you're able to delete any toolbar you've created by simply highlighting its name in the list and then clicking Delete. Click OK to delete your custom toolbar. However, let's say that perhaps somebody goes in and deletes cut, paste, copy, and undo. Oh heck, let's even get rid of new. Maybe open even. So if you ever come in and you see that there just aren't the buttons that you need, and somebody's basically mangled a toolbar, don't panic. You can reset that. Once again, go to Tools and choose Customize. Select the toolbar that you would like to repair from the list and over to the right click Reset. Notice that things like the standard and formatting toolbar, the ones you absolutely have to have, cannot be deleted. And if you choose Reset, it asks if you would like to reset changes made to the standard toolbar. Click OK, click Close, and notice all of your buttons have returned. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.